dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally crime youtube channel i am babura from hyderabad in the last few days and last month also there is a lot of gap for uploading the videos due to some unavoidable circumstances due to my going to other places i mean due to my tours to other places that's why i am not able to do and here after i will make all the videos and i will upload them regularly okay and now today our topic is i will share the screen our topic is so our topic is here see here in the bill wise adjustment bill wise in the i mean what you call in the bill wise entry bill wise entry and bill wise details there are bill wise i mean the methods of adjustment of bills already there were three and now we have to take a today is our topic is on account so the bill wise adjustment the last one on account so we will discuss about this one in detail so how to make bill adjustment on account the adjustment of bill adjustment of bill or bill adjustment on account in the bill wise details how to do that that's what we are doing see in this case in the many previous videos i'll show you in the previous videos we learned i yeah so in the previous videos the method of adjustment and the bill wise entry there are four advance i mean new reference then against reference then advance reference and then last one is our account we have completed new reference and against reference in one place and after some time we completed this advance reference we completed the advance reference in the previous video here in the previous video so in the previous video we completed the yeah advance reference also we completed okay and then now what and based on this four that is three on this three we completed the what is called the bill wise adjustments we completed bill wise adjustments so bill wise adjustments after advance reference <clears throat> bill wise entries bills outstanding report outstanding report in that outstanding we completed bills receivable and bills payable and also ledger and groups that is ledger wise and group wise and after that based on these outstanding reports outstanding duration or aging analysis also on the basis of bill date from due bill date or due date we completed and we make the range 0 to 15 days 15 to 30 days 30 to 45 45 and more this is what the and bill settlement settlement of bills all this we completed so three already done up to advance reference and these two five and the last one sixth one we are doing now so all these are very very important for every business okay so here i advance reference new reference new reference means new bill against reference means against the bill payment is made or received then against reference advance reference is when the customer pays some advance to us or we pay some advance to the our suppliers or creditors and then on account when we use the on account how to make the use of on account and that is the use of on account so when we use the on account reference under some circumstances some special circumstances mainly there are three reasons for using that one is no reference number is available for adjustment while making the receipt you receive payment but while making the payment receipt so in the bill wise entry bill wise details window we will get the all the four that is advance against reference new reference on a we get all the four in that we can get generally we get the against reference but here without any reference number in such a case we cannot make the adjustment against the number against the reference then we have the non account for that we will take one example for that we will take one example for that this is the company and then here we will take up the advance here see okay we will take up one example here see here on one seven, our customer Radhika Electronics paid less sum of one lakh without any reference number. Without any reference number, without any reference number, they paid money. Here, we take the 
company. You will take the company. Here the problem is that is the Radhika has paid one lakh to us without any reference. So here we will go to that. First we will make the entry for the receipt. That is one seven. So we will go to vouchers V V and then what is the voucher? We have to take receipt. Receipt means F six. So here we can also be here F six. So we are making the receipt and uh, what is the entry we have to take? Radhika it starts with credit in the W three board. Credit means who is the Receiving from whom? Payment means you paid in paying what you are paying, like that. Here, uh, Radhika Electronics. Radhika Electronics. How much you received? Sorry. Date is 1st first July. Date is not here. 1st July. EAL. Radhika Electronics. Of the 40,000 here. So we are making the receipt here. Radhika Electronics, they are paying 1 lakh rupees. They are paying 1 lakh rupees. See here. See, there is no, this is not coming. That is, against reference is not coming. Happiness number is not coming. Even though against reference is, uh, this is uh, for our customer, and this is against reference. It is not taking that next reference, isn't it? One minute, I will check up this. One minute. See here, we are making the entry. So one lakh we received. Radhika Electronics, that is actually it's not made. Electronics. Now we will get the adjustment table. See here, bill wise details for Radhika Electronics. For bill wise details, we showing one lakh, but it is showing an account. See, if we go to against reference, so nothing is shown. Nothing is shown in the Against reference number. But if you go to the account, say EAL, say Radhika Electronics, if you go to this, already there is one lakh is outstanding. There are vouchers are there, but amount is not outstanding one lakh. Everything is there. But why it is not showing? Why it is not showing? When you are making the entry, it is in the bill wise details. Why is not showing the against reference? They have to show all this. And against number. Against reference, all this they have to show, but it is not showing. What is the reason? There may be two reasons for that. There may be two reasons for that. But everything it will show, but it is not showing. Why means, see here, in the beginning, we make the company features. We make the company features in the bill wise entry, enable bill wise entry. It is yes now, but it might have been no. It is not disabled at that time. When the bill was bills were made, when the bills were made, if it is not enabled, what will happen? It will not generate the bill wise details. Such way it is not showing any against reference. Or even if this is yes, this is enabled, even though this is enabled before the entries also enabled. But in this case, when you created the ledger, Radhika Electronics created the ledger at the time of creating the ledger, it might be no, it might be no, and it might be no at the time of creating the ledger. But after that, it is come, it is enabled as yes. That is why at the time when the watch DJ, I mean, the entries were made, it is not enabled. It has to be enabled in both times, in the apply on features as well as in the party account. It is to be enabled, but it is there enabled, but here it is not enabled before the entries were made. It is yes now. That means it is enabled after the entries were made. So in that case, so at the time of entries, that is not enabled in the ledger for party ledger account also. That is why it is not, it will not generate the ledger, I mean, uh, uh, bill wise details. It is not generating. That means it is not showing anything. So in that case, what you have to do, Radhika Electronics, one lakh, so you have to take no against reference. That is why what we have to do is we have to use one lakh. We have to use our account. So here and suppose if we receive cash, we will write see here, sir. Debit. So credit is the party, and debit means what we received. We may receive cash or by check. Suppose if we receive cash, we will write cash here. Okay. If we receive check. 
who will issue State Bank of India, our bank. So we will take their cash. In, in another account, in another example, we take the bank. So State Bank cash will receive. So it is debited. Cash means received it is debited. So amount received against against account. Okay. An account received. So this is the first reason. This is the first reason what we why you will use the an account. So no reference number is there when the receipt is made. Okay, the reasons we know two reasons. So any of the reasons it is not showing. So what we have to do? Various details are not generated. So we have to take our account only. This is the first one. This is the one of also the first one. Next, then the second reason, I mean second condition, second circumstance is when a check is bound or dishonored. When the check is bound or dishonored, then we have to use an account. How means here? See the problem. On 1st May, 1st July, sold to Pavine Enterprises, one Sony TV 20 inches at 25,000 rupees on credit for 15 days. So we make the entry. So here, which may we have to make entry? Sales means F8. So sales, you have to click or F8 directly. So you have to click sales. And the date is same date, 1st first, first July. Name is Pavine. Private enterprises. So private enterprises is not there. See, that is why we have to create all to see private enterprises is a sundry data. Sundry data. Sundry data will be details. Yes, yes, everything. Control here. We will save this. Again, save. Again, save. Here, always sales will be under sales only. Sales will be sales here. So what we showed. Sony TV, 20 inches, 20 inches, how many used? We sold only one, rate is 25,000 rupees. 25,000 rupees, we, pay, we sold. So it is saved. So again, it's reference is there, new sale. So it is a new reference. The inverse number is, the inverse number is the serial number, 13. So we sold the use, on credit, okay. And then, on 31st July, private enterprise issued ICIC bank check number so and so for the amount due, for the amount due, and we issued the receipt. The check is deposited in the check bank. When you receive a check, definitely you receive your deposit in our bank. So on 31st December, 31st July, we will issue, I mean, we are making the receipt go here. So we will go to the tally. That is 31st May, 31st July. Click. 31st July. So F2, 31st July, and the voucher is receipt voucher, F6, receipt voucher. Okay. From whom we received Praveen Enterprises. So Praveen Enterprises, how much you received? The amount to 25,000. We received 25,000. So here, against reference is there. Because new reference we entered, now we are receiving against that amount. Against reference 13. Okay. Against the present 13, 25,000 rupees. Okay. And now, and then the 35,000 received. And what we received? We received not cash, we received check. So, State Bank of India, State Bank of India, 25,000. We have to be the details. What we received? Check. So, check our DD and then instrument number means check number 223344. That is the same. And the bank name is bank name is from whom we received. So the check bank name of the other party from whom we received ICICI bank. So here bank name is not there. Since our education, I mean, version is education version, it will not show any details. In the case of licensed version, when you click here, all the details, all the banks in India will be shown. So here we have to take specify the bank here, specify the bank. ICICI bank. That's all. Okay. We received money. Okay. So we sold the goods. We received the check. Okay. But on 1st August, the check received from private enterprises and deposited in SBI. SBI deposited SBI is bounced due to inefficient funds in their account. They don't have funds in their account. 
that it is first. It's on first July. We have to make the entry for check forms. See here, I told you in the beginning, the check forms means it is not receipt or payment or sale or purchase anything. So it is to be entered in the which voucher? It is to be entered in journal voucher. It is to be entered in journal voucher. So journal voucher is here F7, you see here. F7 is the journal, quick journal. In the journal voucher, date is, date is, check box is 1, 8. So 1, 8, let us take the date and the debit. So debit means the party who gave the receipt I mean, payment to us, this desire means again they will be our data. So who is the person? Check is from private enterprises. So private enterprises. So what is the amount? 20, 25,000 rupees. 25,000 rupees debit. So on account, because here, see here, you go to against difference, nothing is there because that against difference is already used when the receipt is, I mean, when you receive the check. When you receive the check, the receipt is made and then against difference is taken. So now there is no English difference. So we have to take the R account. We have to take R account, 25,000 rupees and credit. So the person, again, he became data to us. So his account is debited. And on the credit side, we received the check, but we did not receive the money. So where you check receive deposit the in State Bank of India. So it is debited that time. So we have to credit now, State Bank of India. Here, check number. What is the check number? Is number double two double three double four. Okay, so check bounced. Check box. That's enough. Check box. Name everything will be there. So check box. That's a narration. Small narration is enough. Okay, check box is right. now. Okay, here when the check is bounced, we entered in the account. Here, see if you go to the account DAL. Ledger. So his name is uh, Praveen Enterprises. Praveen Enterprises, what is the amount to due? See here, we sold for 25,000, received the check, balance is nil, but the check is bound. Again, it became a data to us. So, what is the balance? So, as it is in the position, check is received, but it is bound. So, he is already a data to us. 25,000 rupees is the due. But here, we will go, is okay now. But now we go to the, you see in this case, display more reports and outstanding reports. So statement of accounts, outstanding, receivable. See in the receivable, what is the name? Previn Enterprises, the due is 25,000. See check up, any there? The date is uh, 1st August. See the 1st August, is there any Previn Enterprises? So the amount is not shown. How? See here, so in this case, from these people, you can receive the money, you can collect the money. But here, from, on the basis of this report, see here, bills receivable. So in the bills receivable report, bills means invoices. Bills receivable report that is not available on the basis of report. So we cannot collect anything on, from them. But from the ledger only, we can collect. But how to make the outstanding balance due in the, that entry, that is this designer check, check designer bounds entry entered shown in the ledger not shown here, how to make it appear here also. So in this case, we'll go back to the ledger account, DAL. So driving enter this here, check box, this is the check box here. Here we have made our account. But instead of that, we give some number or some other name or number for this. This check number, I guess reference number is called name because it may be a name or it may be number. So in this case, we have to show a new reference. You get a different number. So take it new number. Not against a new reference. Against a this close. New reference you take. And here you take. Check. Check bonds. Bonds dash who is the name? Praveen. Take it as Praveen. You do like this. So in the ledger account, in the ledger account, there will be no difference. So in the ledger account, it is showing showing all the everything. But here, this is not shown in the report, but we will see now. The report also we will see. Display mode D, 
यस वो आउटस्टैंडिंग रिसीव हो रहा है इसी के से किया रहा है इसी प्रवीण एंटरप्राइजेस ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीस आप बस कार्डेस विकास चेक इस बाउंड की शोर नाउ कर्जर बाउंड्स प्रवीण सो रिमेम्बर वन थिंग हियर हियर नंबर वी यूज आर अकाउंट रेफरेंस न्यू रेफरेंस अगेंस्ट रेफरेंस एडवांस रेफरेंस देन लास्ट वन इफ यू यूज आर अकाउंट रेफरेंस इट विल बी कैन बी सीन ओनली इट विल अफेक्ट द लेजर ओनली इट कैन बी सीन ओनली इन द लेजर बट इट कैनॉट बी सीन इन द आउटस्टैंडिंग रिपोर्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग बिल्स रिसीवेबल और बिल्स पेएबल इन दिस बिल्स रिसीवेबल बिल्स पेएबल इट मींस अंडर आउटस्टैंडिंग आउटस्टैंडिंग रिपोर्ट वी कैनॉट सी दैट सो फार दैट वी हैव टू मेक लाइक दिस देन Since we don't work from no problem, we will collect from the parties on the basis of the ledger account, not on the basis of the receivable or outstanding account. In such case, if we don't want, we need to take. So if we are taking out of the reference number, so from the on the basis of ledger account, we can collect. Okay. So this is the second one. This is the second one. Then the check is received. Now another one is to give some effect on customers or suppliers account. Like interest is equal to payable. So to give some effect, that means to increase something in the customers or suppliers account, like interest is equal. Customers means interest is equal. Payable means suppliers we have to pay the money. Suppose here, if we do some credit period, we will mention if the amount is not paid within that credit period, that is within the due date, we will charge the interest. So in such case. If they pay after some time, up from the due date, in such a case, we will calculate the interest and we will charge the interest we have to receive from the customers. Similarly, in the case of suppliers, if we make delay in the payment, we have to pay interest. That is interest payable. That is also to be taken into account. In that case, for the interest payable or receivable, when you make the entry for that, there will be no invoice in number. So for that, we have to take as On account to remove. For that, we we'll take an on account. So that we will take up. We will see in the ledger. See here. Problem. Next one. First August sold to Ashok Electronics on TV for twenty five thousand rupees. On credit, allowing fifteen days. Okay. Interest will be charged for over due period if not paid by the due date. Okay. So on first July, first August. We we sold goods, so we make the entry. So we we'll go to voucher, and then it is sale F A sale, and the date is first August. The sale first August was there already, so first August, and now we are making sales to whom? Ashok Enterprises. So Ashok Traders is there. Ashok Enterprises is not there. So we create all to see Ashok Enter Enterprises Electronics. Ashok Electronics, Electronics. Hello, Ashok Electronics. Is a sundry data. When I am purchasing data, when I am selling sundry data, will be everything okay and save control A and then again control A control A. Now sales will be always on the sales. Okay. Now that is Sony TV. Twenty inches TV, Sony TV, twenty inches, one number for twenty-five thousand rupees. One number for twenty-five thousand rupees. Okay, and then okay. Now we are saving this here. Our next new reference number is fourteen, and the credit period is fifteen days. Here we give fifteen days to show that due date sixteenth August. But here actually in the case of license version, you can give. Credit period or due date also. If you give the due date sixteenth August, it will show fifteen days here. If you give fifteen days there, it will show sixteenth August here. But here, if you give sixteenth August here, it will not take because I told you the education is only first to second and thirty first. That is why you cannot give there. You can give days. You can give days and it will show the due date also. But in the uh, the outstanding report, this is what is payable. In the outstanding report. This date will not be shown. Due date will not be shown. But the number of days over due period, over due by days, will be calculated from this due date only. Here only it is not showing from the due date only to calculate. So for fifteen days, so we sold the goods. We sold the goods. 
Now what happened then? We sold the goods, interest will be charged. On 1st December, Ashok Electronics asked us for the outstanding balance to sit in the account. So here, he asked us to, what is the amount payable to you? So how will you find out? We'll go to that ledger or we'll go to the outstanding report. So this, this display more reports, statement of account, outstanding. And here, receivables now, we'll go to the ledger. We'll go to the particular person only, not here receivable. All the ledgers will be shown. Here we'll go to ledger. And then what is the name? Ashok Electronics. Ashok Electronics, we are going to say here. See? Here 77 days, 14, 14 number, and the amount is 25,000 rupees. And the overview days, so calculate from 16th August to only, from 1st August to 15 days, from 16th August to only, in August 31 minus 15, 31 minus, uh, 16, 15 days, August, September, October, what is the date here? Date is, I think it is uh, 1st December, na? 1st December. So here, we will take 1, 4, 2, 1st December. So it will be 1st December. So 1 or 7 days. So here, 16 days, uh, 15 days, 15 days in August plus September plus October plus November plus December, first one day. December, one day. First December. So one or seven days. So calculate from the due date only. Here, we have to calculate and we have to be interest. So here we see 25,000 rupees is the amount outstanding, but we have to calculate interest also, isn't it? So I have to, in, 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 in due course, we will learn how to calculate interest in the tally prime. Automatically, it will calculate. So that we will learn later. But for now, just we will take for example, if the interest is 500 rupees. So now we have to make the entry for 500 rupees. Then only we can tell them the total amount. See here, you are telling settle amount and the paid the amount with due interest. The amount due with interest. So now we have to make cal I mean, uh, entry for this. So here, voucher. Here we see for the entry. What is the entry you have to make here? We have to make entry for ledger only. It's all adjustment. For ledger, we have to make, I mean, uh, journal voucher only. So journal we will write. And what is the date? First December. Date is first December. You have to first December. See here, David. So from whom we have to receive the data? From first December. It is Ashok Electronics. Ashok electronics account David. So what is the amount of interest now? 500 rupees. So here it is, see here, new reference, we cannot take, we have to take it as on account. It is not an invoice. We are charging the account, amount for interest. So it is not invoice and it is not against reference. Take on account, 500 rupees. And then credit, what is the amount? This is interest. So interest is receivable from the data. That's why we have to give the little check up. Ah, account is there. So interest is equal 500 rupees. So we write interest receivable on over due amount. Or over, for, for over due period. For over due period. That we will learn how to calculate the interest. Okay. So we completed the entry. Now you see here also. Go to display mode reports, statement of accounts, outstanding. Then we go to receivables, for example. See here is it. Ashok Enterprise Electronics. Only that 25,000 rupees is the due amount. 25,000 is the due amount. But interest is not there. It is not showing. It is not showing the interest. Here. Okay. Now how to show the interest? So in this case also, we will go to the ledger, TAL, Ashok Electronics. And here, we charge interest here also. Nothing is shown. Here, you know, the plan account, instead of that, go to new reference and take interest. Interest, over your over name, Ashok. Ashok, and we are looking electronics, interest. So, you give the reference number in a different way. Now you check up the 
रिपोर्ट डिस्प्ले मोर रिपोर्ट्स स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अकाउंट और स्टैंडिंग दिस इज यानी सी प्रवीण एंटरप्राइजेस 25000 चेक बॉक्स एंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ शो शो के अलावा कनेक्ट साल को इट इज शोइंग 500 सोशल कनेक्ट कनेक्ट्स 25000 इट इज शोइंग एवरीथिंग सो हमने को टू लेफ्ट ओनली द अकाउंट लेजर बट इट नॉट बी शोइंग द दिस इज गोइंग बट द रेफरेंस नंबर वी हैव टू चेंज इट वी हैव टू गिव ऑन अकाउंट I mean, not on account. We have to give the new reference some name of the name regarding the transaction. Then it will show here also. But you have to say that it is only if you take on account also in the ledger account it will show complete fee. Okay. So this is what about the on account reference. It is one about the on account. Understand? Okay. So here it is the on account. Suppose here if we want to. This one more thing. So here, this is bills receivable. Similarly, bills payable also. We can see we need not go to again go display more reports and all these things. Simply here F five. See here F five bills payable. Bills payable report also we can do. So all these settings, whatever we did in the bills payable, receivable, the same thing we can do here also. Again F five. So the bills payable. Suppose if you want to go see print this report, if you want to. Print the report. How to print the report? So here in this case, see, print is there. Alt P. If you click that, it will show account. Again, R we have to click, and then it will show the print page. Instead of that, we can do one thing, sir. Instead of this, we can do one thing. Instead of Alt P, if you press Control P, directly it will go to the this. Here you will see how this report will show here. If you click I R preview, click I. It will show the report. Take June, so it will show the end. If the report is done with the help of this left and right arrows, we can select see the full report. Okay, and then here if you if you print or come back and if you print here, it will print the report. So this is how we will print the report. That is our concern today, and how to make the report and how to use the on account. Okay, understand? So this is. Our topic today, and you have to understand very well. Okay, and if you see, you can see this video again and again. You can learn very well. Okay, now, now my request to you: please subscribe to my channel. I mean, all the persons who are not at subscribe, if you have not at subscribe, please subscribe to the channel and select and select this um I mean, uh, bell button, select bell icon. And then select all. Then all the notifications you get for all the videos which I upload. Okay, and you share my channel to all other people, to your friends, as well as any working accountants or any persons who want to learn tally trading. Who want to learn tally trading? Okay. And then while watching this video, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip in the middle. Otherwise, the balance. Copy. You cannot understand. You watch the video till the end, and at the end, if the video is okay, good. Then you click the thumb icon, thumb icon, and like the video. And above all this, your idea about this video that it is good or bad, any problem or even not clear, clear, and all these things, you post your comment about this in the comment section below the. Description box. You can get the comments. So in their comments, you post your comments. It is the only communication between you and me. Okay. Don't forget this. And and one more thing is, if you when you are watching these videos, I am uploading by date. They are uploading in the date order. So in the same order in which I uploaded today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, like that. Today Telugu, tomorrow English. Again Telugu, again English. So date wise, the every alternate today Telugu, every alternate today English. So as per that due dates, you learn, you watch the videos. Then only you can get or you can gain expert knowledge, and also you will become expert at content. So don't forget that seeing one video now and leaving some videos again, going to some other video in the you will not understand. You will not get a very good experience. I mean, a very good. Knowledge. Okay, and also the thing is, 
as I told you, I already started online classes. Offline, I have not started because in the offline, there is some problem. It's people, some people asking different time and some other people asking different time and all this will be a problem. That is why, that is why I am, con I am convincing the other people, all these people also to take up online classes because only the difference is in the offline classes, you will be face to face in the classroom. In the online classes, you also will be in the face to face, but in the computer. And everything, everything will be the same. And you can ask anything to me or anything, or I can reply. Everything will be like the offline class only. That's why I am I started already the online classes. It's only the fundamentals we started. If anybody wants to uh, join the classes, so within four or five days, you can join and discover this already the fundamentals of accounting that will be covered to them again separately. And then you start the journey. Otherwise, after some time, after many days, if you want to join, then we will start another batch. I mean, uh, after some time, we will batch it. We will start a new batch. You can join in that batch anyhow. So you decide if you want to attend the classes, online classes also, you just contact me. I have given the number in the number equation. I posted many videos regarding the classes. So in that, I gave the thumb impression. On the thumb impression, my contact number is given. You can contact me. And also in the channel, in the about section, my contact number is available. So you can contact me and you can register your names for the classes. Okay. So with this, I hope all will gain expert knowledge and become expert advocates. And as far as one more thing is, as far as the PC is concerned for this thumb classes, for the in the beginning is only beginning. That's why I am charging a less fees of 3,000 rupees only. You may ask, so some others are taking up the classes in the classroom. That is not that also. They are charging 2,000, 3,000. So, okay. So, after the matter of amount, but the matter of the knowledge you get. Understand? So, I know many people. So, they are charging even 4,000, 5,000 also. What they do is they skip some items. Some topics they skip. They will not teach. A to Z, in the middle, some topics they will skip the topic. That is why, but what got in my case, from A to Z, everything, every topic I have got, there will be no topic skipped. Okay, that's why I am charging. You know, the time also will be more. They'll say one month, 30 days. They'll say, so they'll complete by 30 days. But in my case, I say 45 days. The right people take 45 days sometimes. Sometimes it may take some time also because it's not a matter of time or matter of money. You have whatever I promised, I have to teach you and you have to learn the subject and you have to get expert knowledge. That is what I feel. That's why I'm charging. In future, I will increase this also. This is in the beginning. That's why I'm taking 3,000 rupees for this. And you can contact me and you can, I will give you the details. You can you have to pay at least for some token advance of thousand rupees. You can register your names and then after some time I will collect that balance amount. Okay, this is about my classes, and I wish you all gain expert knowledge and become expert accountants. We wish you all the best. Good night. Bye.